You're watching Drake Queen Gaming. Enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Neri here from Drake Wing Gaming, something to me on Twitter, The Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming at you with a demo for Dragon Island. A friend of mine turned me on to this and, uh, oh boy. Oh boy, we got a lot on display here. Oh my, sweating a little. Okay, so uh, I don't know what to expect about this. Um, the game launched in Japanese, I had to kind of navigate the menu to find English. Um, I like the music, it's very cute, whimsical, very tropical sounding, I like it. It kind of reminds me of the old, of like, a, was it Yoshi's Story or something like that. But anyway, guys, just sit back and enjoy the hot dragons on display, and let's just jump right in. Alarm you're up, and let's go. All right. Applying sunproof now. Oh, my. Chef dragon. Ooh, okay. Applying sunproof now. All right. Congratulations on becoming the lifeguard for Dragon Island's summer party. Dragon Island is committed to providing irreplaceable professional services to our guests. We believe that your professional skills will meet the requirements of our guests. We have chosen to hire you not only for your professionalism, but also for other reasons. We hope that you will give full play to your strengths and your work. Tickets for the ferry to Dragon Island are enclosed with this letter. Please show up at the ferry, the ferry of Dragon Island Ferry Co. on time. Gordon Danum. There we go. Okay. Ooh, this music. Ooh. Off the southern coast of the Republic of Shing, there's a private island resort called Dragon Island. VIP, celebrities, and the wealthy elite are invited there every summer to indulge in the pleasures of life on the beautiful beach. I never dreamed I'd see it for myself, much less go there in person, but... Wait, you thought I got an invitation? <laughs> as if that ever happened! I'm just working there as a lifeguard. Of course, everyone said I was lucky that my resume was the one they picked, but I'm not sure if it was just luck. Oh wait, I should probably introduce myself. Oh shit, this is the main character? Holy hell. I'm Henry Heimlich. <laughs> really? And I'm 33 years old. I used to work at the Sun City Swimming Center as a lifeguard. As a shark dragon, I'm considered to be pretty exotic even for a place like Sun City, so I tend to stand out. But after so many years, I've gotten used to the relaxed pace of life here. All kinds of people of different species from all over the world come to Sun City for one reason or another, be it for business, pleasure, or just passing through. Many of them stick around and settle here due to the place's comfortable and tolerant atmosphere. That includes me, by the way. God, what a bulge. Ooh, Jesus. But right now, I'm taking a bumpy bus ride to Sun City Pier. But the acceptance letter and the ferry ticket to Dragon Island that came with it said to be there by 2 p.m. sharp, so I need to get there as soon as possible. If I miss that boat, I'll be missing out on more than just a paycheck. The acceptance letter also said that I was selected for other reasons. Uh, when I read that, I couldn't help but think, the next time you do any part-time work at the beach, be sure to avoid anyone with a camera. The lurch of the bus coming to a sudden stop at the pier shook me out of my thoughts. A slightly salty sea breeze blew in through the window I had rolled down. The black tiger driver turned the key and the dull, vibrating roar of the bus's engine was replaced by the soft sound of waves. The port didn't have a whole lot of greenery, and the summer sun was shining brightly down on us. I adjusted the brim of my hat and carefully held onto the railing as I exited the bus. The gray-blue water lapped at the long, dull gray concrete dike, while the boats by the boat blah, 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 while the boats bolted to the bollards stay <laughs> while the boats bolted to the bollards swayed into the waves. That's a bit of a tongue twister right there. A large, fancy-looking yacht was moored at the far end of the pier. As I walked closer, I heard several people talking loudly from on board. Hey, there's other there's other passengers here. Am I on time? I locked my phone and looked at the time. 1.50. Not too late. Lucky me. Wait, what is this? I don't know what that is. I'm afraid to click on it. it doesn't look like there's good reception out here near the sea. I carefully climbed the gangway and leaned into the cabin doorway. There was a sudden lull in the conversation as the passengers in the cabin turned to look at me as I entered. Oh! The fuck? This looks like a Resident Evil character. Well then, seems like we've got a full boat. Looks like we get to leave early after all, folks. Welcome aboard the Misty Dragon. I'm Captain Leong Shimon. But you just but just call me Leong, or Sir, if you're feeling respectful. His name sounds native to Sun City, but he doesn't look like any of the native dragons I've seen. Maybe his family moved here a few generations back or something. 
A sturdy gray dragon straightened his uniform collar, produced a ticket punch from his pocket to mark my ticket, and firmly shook my hand. Bon voyage! Bon, vi bon voyage! Call me if you need anything. Liang suddenly turned to me and said, Just so you know, there's a seasick bag on every seat. Grab one if your stomach feel starts feeling weird. I picked a seat and sat down, piling my bags down next to me. The engine at the back of the boat rumbled alive. Jesus, that startled the hell out of me. An expressionless brown bear dockmaster unhooked the cable tethering us to the dock, and the mountains near the shore began to recede at a leisurely pace. Soft music, the kind that plays on every sightseeing ferry, began to play to play over the radio as the six of us began our journey to Dragon Island. Ooh. Oh man, this is so high quality. Was that a Charizard? I saw that. Oh my god! Ooh! Look at all them boys. Oh, wow. Chang Wei. Leong. Some big bulges, Jesus. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! He's giant! Ah, he's handsome! Oh, he's. Oh! Oh, yes, I like him. He's a dragon, so I have to date them all. The City of Possibilities, Sun City. Man! <clears throat> Enjoy an unforgettable summer vacation in Dragon Island. The phone. That's black info. Okay, check information. Oh, okay. White Feather Dragon, free activity. Okay. Interpolation. Banging bitches. <laughs> oh, this is so cool! Dragon Island. <laughs> nice. All right. The ship slowly left the shore and sailed into the calm sea. As the waves gently splashed against the hull, everyone on board began to look at each other tent tentatively. Looks like everyone wants to get acquainted with each other. Two of us went straight up to the deck, while the other three remained in the cabin. Not available. Let me save it right here so I can... Yeah, overwrite that. Let's see, what is this? Oh, yeah, it's my phone. Oh, hello there. Furbler. Furbler. Text. Wow, Red Dragon Advance Pay. Wow! Holy shit, this is detailed! Advance Pay Overdue Bill. I saw, uh. That's not good. Uh. That says Furball Eat, your VIP, your coupon sent to your account. Uh, I should telecom reminder your customer balance. Man, they put a lot of work into this. Man, I'm really looking forward to it, Mom. Wow, okay. Happy New Year, son. Happy New Year, Ma. Are you coming back this year? Nah, there's more. Nah, there's more swimming lessons students during vacation. What? <laughs> uh, well, it's a, it's a rough translation, I guess. Okay, just take care. Relax, your son's old enough to take care of himself. Remember to come back. And I am definitely going to have to block out some of this. This is really racy stuff. Yo. Just wrote a game. Want to try it? Godot. Uh, I'm not clicking on that. Okay, I'll try. I won't download. Let me see. What about now? I'm after install how. God, I'll see to it. You're really a bug chaser. Wait, that sounds weird. <laughs> this is good. This is good. Man. I have to do a decent amount of editing on this one, boys and gals. Oh my. What is this? Uh, Thumbler. Furbler. Just an echo. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so much to do. Oh my god, memo. Okay, what's this? Dragon Island, Holiday Paradise, an island near Sun City. Okay, save it right here. Okay. Henry Heimlich, that's me. 31 years old, received a normal letter of employment with a little indecent suggestion. Leong Poker Face. He is a gray western dragon with the same with the name of the eastern of an eastern dragon. The captain who took us to Dragon Island. Okay. Um, what do we got? Uh, woo, woo. Fan movie. The sun also rises. Wandering Earth. Ah, I've, I've seen that recommended to me. Fave book. The Wandering Earth. The sun also rises. That's me in the photo. DM for more pics. Party lover. Sashimi is the best. I fucking agree. I love sashimi. Oh my god. Who are these boyos? Oh my. Good lord. Nope. 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 Oh. Oh dear. Oh my. Oh, this is... Oh. Oh. This is making me sweat. Okay. 
Um, put the phone away. Maybe I'll chat with Leon later and see if I can explore the cockpit. Ha! Huh, explore the cockpit. Map. Oh my, hello there. Uh, talk, I guess. Map. Oh, no, oh, no. Oh. Okay. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Okay, let's, uh... Deck, I'm on the deck. Okay. Wait, nope. Map, let's go back to the front. Cabin, okay. Okay, there we go. Got some boys. Okay. There were three other dragons sitting in the cabin. A white feathered dragon, a bull dragon, and an eastern dragon with very familiar colors. I should probably get acquainted with everyone while we're on the boat. If I'm going to be working on the island with them for a while, I should at least be friendly to get to know them. Speaking of which, was everyone here invited, or is one of them my employer? Let's talk to the White Feather Dragon. He's cute. The White Dragon was curled up in a seat out of, out of direct sunlight. His large wings raised to shade him from the sun as much as possible. He's got a fluffy, sunproof coat, so why is he trying so hard to avoid the sun? Thoughts of vampires flashed through my mind. Thoughts of stuffy bedchamber with the curtains drawn tight. The icy body of the vampiric feather dragon pressed against my back. His slender snow-white arms wrapped tightly around me. Frozen in time and perpetually young, he's forced to stand on tiptoe so he could just barely sink the sharp fangs of his upper jaw into my neck. His breath, moist with blood, tickled my scales as something hard against the fruit of my tail. Oh dear. Okay, that's getting too intense. I need to chill. I carefully made my way down to the aisle, holding on to the tops of the chairs as I passed. Hmm? The white dragon raised his head and looked up at me curiously. The corners of his mouth twitched, but no sound came out, and his fans hands began to fidget. Looks like I have to make the first move. Hi, I'm Henry. I'll be working as a lifeguard. A lifeguard? Well, you won't have to worry about fishing me out of the sea. Uh, wait, what do you what do you mean? You're also If everyone else here was a lifeguard, then maybe the invitation to the island was from some wealthy pervert with some very specific interests. Ah, you misunderstand. I mean that I won't be going in the water if I can help it. White Dragon slowly lowered his wings and extended his slender hand to me. I'm Black. Black Kevorkian. Oh no, why is he called Kevorkian? Black Kevorkian. Nice to meet ya. Wait, how old is this guy? He looks like a kid. Student, reason to come. Student. Out of curiosity, are you at the international? St are you an international student? What high school are you studying at? I'll have you know I'm in my third year at the university. Third year. If this were some fantasy story, the sheer intensity of his aura would have blown me off my feet. I'm just small for my age. Don't assume that will always be the case. Oh, uh, right. Sorry, my bad. Black then stretched out his wings and flapped them dramatically in front of me. What's it say about the memo? I'm black and white. White for the dragon. He is a junior in college and hates being made to feel young. He seems to be avoiding the sun and not going to the beach. Okay. Stretch out his wings in front of me. Okay. If these enormous wings of mine didn't suck up all my developmental nutrients, I'd likely be taller than you. They're very big wings indeed, and pretty ones too. I can only imagine what could do what you could do in the air with wings like those. Reasons to come? These invitation letters are pretty fancy. I'm not used to getting things like these. You received a letter too? I thought you were a staff member like the captain. I'm guessing I'm part of the staff considering I was hired to be a lifeguard. Perhaps a letter was included so that there'd be something to attach to the ticket. So, can I ask a question? Ah, oh, I suppose so. Why did you get invited to come to Dragon Island? Do you and the organizer know each other or something? That's my own business. Before I could pull out the letter, the Black's expression darkened and he drew back from me. And I don't recognize this Gordon Danman person. I only know a Gordon Ramsay. Black doesn't want me to know why he's here. I guess I'll figure out why later. I wonder why these other guys were invited. Maybe I should ask around. Let's say, okay, won't, won't go swimming. Let's see with the update right here. Another dragon hates being. He seems to be. He was very guarded when asked about this reason for coming to the island. Okay. We're going to Dragon Island. Are you sure you're not going to have some fun at the beach? Absolutely not. I don't want to get stung by a jellyfish. He glanced away from me with a huff. The beach should have a protective net, so that should keep out the jellyfish, right? I'd rather not risk it. Void sunshine, okay. You seem to be hiding from the sunlight. Because I don't want to be in the sun. But you don't have any scales to dry out, so why? 
I still don't like the sun. Then why? Call it a force of habit, one that's hard to change. Okay. Anyway, it's none of your business. There's that intensity again. Hmm. Alright, talk to someone else. Let's start the brown bull dragon. Hey, good lord, you're handsome. I walked towards the brown bull dragon by the window. He was holding a thin booklet, flipping through it and using the sunlight as a reading lamp. Noticing my approach, he tucked the booklet into his pocket before giving me a warm smile. Hmm, given your state of dress, I assume you're a lifeguard. His smile looks strangely familiar. Napoleon Kane, it's a pleasure to meet you. Let's see. Napoleon Kane. Recognize him in the clothes. He's a very brown dragon with a very familiar smile. I'm Henry, I'm a lifeguard, and the pleasure's all mine. Familiar smile. I don't want to sound weird, but your smile is familiar. Have we met somewhere before? Perhaps you've seen me on television, or on the ads for Black and White Bull Bakery. Black and White Bull? Wait, that's it! You're that, Napoleon? I should have known. Every time I see you, you're in that pink apron with a smile that's nice and... Is that he is often featured in advertisements for the Black and... Okay. Alright. Warm. Actually, I wanted to say something else. It warms my heart to know my smile of such an impression. It's kind of hard to miss, considering how often I've seen your ads. And don't forget the tagline, pastries as warm as our smiles. I wouldn't mind some hot cream filling, or at least a light glazing. <laughs> oh my, you're naughty. You're thirsty, Henry. Black and White Cow Bakery. So, uh, what's, why is your bakery named Black and White Black and White Bull? Um, because I'm a bull dragon? Doesn't that seem reasonable? But you're brown. Black and white is much more distinctive. If you've seen the store, you'd agree. Seriously, that's all? I thought there was some deeper meaning. And besides, everyone always associates cows with black and white. Obviously, there's also Swiss brown cows, but... Such a pity for the brown cows to give so much milk only to be upstaged by Holsteins. Ah, well. Specialty desserts. So, what sort of pastry are you good at making? Why don't you guess? It sounds like he gets this question a lot. A Napoleon cake. Napoleon cake? Um, that was more my father's specialty. It's not that I can't make it, but I never could never could get it get it as good as his. No, my specialty is my delicious cinnamon rolls. They make people feel oh damn it. Fuck that up. His father named him after the pastry? Then his kid would be named Cinnamon. Perhaps I should make a tray of them for you sometime. Signature dish signature dish is cinnamon roll, okay? I think I might prefer something a bit meatier than that. I've bought a few of the signature cinnamon rolls from your bakery before. They're really nice with black tea. No, no, I mean a proper cinnamon roll, not those mass-produced pastries that come out of the central kitchen. Though I'll admit, those are still good. When I bake them, I not only use much more controlled heat, but I also have a special ingredient. Let me guess. Love? <laughs> no. I can just imagine Napoleon carrying a big platter of cinnamon rolls and wearing nothing but a thin pink apron over his thick bulge. Just as he raises his hand to feed me a sticky, icing-covered cinnamon roll, he leans in close with that warm smile, presses a finger to my lips, and whispers, It's free real estate. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You can try it at home, although they probably won't be as good as mine. Still, it'll be much tastier than something uh, you'd buy in a store. Uh, ugh, looks like my fantasies distracted me from his recipe. Hey, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it right here. Oh my, I got a little bit to blur out in this. I don't know how YouTube's... YouTube doesn't seem to be catching me on the bulges, or they don't seem to care. But I'm not gonna stretch my luck with this one. This one is kind of very blatant about the homosexuality on display. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell. Leave a super thanks or tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!